In a randomized phase three trial, patients with metastatic renal cell carcinoma who progressed on sunitinib serafinib were treated with everolimus and showed significant improvement in progression-free survival compared with best supportive care. In other news, the renin-angiotensin system may play a role in carcinogenesis. A pooled analysis of metastatic renal cell carcinoma patients treated on phase one and phase two clinical trials was conducted and a statistical analysis followed. In the largest of its kind to date, it was demonstrated that ASI use improved survival in metastatic renal cell carcinoma patients treated in the targeted therapy era. An international research team led by Mayo Clinic oncologists has found a new way to identify and potentially stop the progression of many late-stage cancers. A new approach can turn off genes that prevent cancer from growing. Researchers at the center already look at a cancer patient's normal DNA and the mutated DNA they find in their tumors, but this method, which is not yet approved by the FDA and is still experimental, is based on a discipline called epigenetics. This is the name for a complex biological process through which individual cells read their genetic blueprints and determine what type of tissue to become. And finally in the news, the Penn State Uplifting Athletes Annual Lift for Life event is set for 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. July 11th at the Penn State Lacrosse Field in State College, Pennsylvania. The event pits the Penn State offense against the defense in a series of competitions to benefit the Kidney Cancer Association. So far, the Penn State football team has raised more than a million dollars for kidney cancer research, advocacy, and education. Reporting from Southwest Florida for the Kidney Cancer Association, I'm Bill Bro.